Hey everybody, welcome to Calvary Family Time, a short midweek video for kids and everyone to remind you that you're not alone and you're a part of something larger than yourselves. We're glad that you are a part of our family. What time is it, boys and girls? Come on, you know what time it is. What time is it? That's right. It's time for the adventures of Little Timmy. The title of today's chapter is The Skateboard Incident. Now, boys and girls, when Little Timmy was just a wee lad, he loved to go roller skating with his family. There used to be a big indoor roller skating rink just off Highway 71 between Seagirt and Manasquan. Little Timmy looked forward to Friday night skate night at the roller rink because it was family night and he loved to skate with his dad. It took him a little time to get the hang of it, but eventually little Timmy learned how to skate without any help. He learned to turn using the crossover step, but more importantly, boys and girls, little Timmy learned how to stop. After a few years, however, the roller skating rink closed down. And that was a sad day for little Timmy. About the same time the roller skating rink closed, little Timmy saw his first skateboard. He didn't know what it was at first, but it seemed that the older kids enjoyed riding one. You see, boys and girls, back in those days, little Timmy didn't have access to all the fancy models of skateboards that exist today. No, indeed. In fact, if you wanted a skateboard back then, you really had to build one yourself. So what did little Timmy decide to do? That's right, you guessed it. He decided to design and build his own skateboard. Little Timmy picked a nice piece of wood, he cut it to size, then he shaped and he finished the ends. Finally, he took one of his roller skates and split it apart. Little Timmy took the front wheels and put it underneath on the front part of the board, and then he repeated the process with the back wheels, putting them on the back side underneath the board. Now there was only one thing left to do, and that was to test it out. At first, though, it was a bit hard to steer, so he had to make a few adjustments to the wheels. You see, they weren't like the wheels they have today on skateboards. Now it was perfect. Little Timmy showed his new skateboard to his friend to let him try it out. What fun this is, his friend exclaimed. Let's go try it out on a hill. So little Timmy and his friend decided to ride their bikes down to the end of the street, to the cemetery. Knowing that the cemetery was one of little Timmy's favorite places to play, should help you to understand Big Timmy more. Anyway, uh, little Timmy and his friend took turns riding down the hill on the skateboard all the way to the exit in the cemetery. After many tries and failures, they were finally able to ride all the way down the hill without falling off. There was one very teeny tiny little problem, however, and it was the fact that at the bottom of the hill, it emptied out into a fairly busy road. So each time little Timmy or his friend rode down the hill on a skateboard, the other person had to stand guard and to look out for traffic. Finally, after three weeks of riding down the hill, little Timmy got an idea. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, boys and girls. Things are growing, going great for little Timmy until he comes up with an idea that gets him into trouble. Well, let's find out. After all, boys and girls, shouldn't we, should we always assume the worst about little Timmy's ideas? What was little Timmy's idea? I have a brilliant idea, little Timmy shouted. Why don't we combine skateboarding and skiing. What do you mean? His friend asked. Let's get a rope 
and tie it to the back of the bicycle and put a handle on the other end. That way, we can pull each other on the skateboard, said little Timmy. His friend thought that was a great idea, so that's what they did. The roads in the cemetery were freshly paved and very smooth to ride on, not like the streets that were bumpy and full of rocks. As little Timmy was riding a skateboard behind his friend's bike, he could feel the breeze on his face, and all seemed well in little Timmy world. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the peace was shattered by an angry man running and shouting at them. Stop what you are doing right now, the angry man shouted as he ran toward them. Little Timmy was so surprised that he didn't even have time to think. He jumped off his skateboard and started to run away, leaving his precious creation behind. Little Timmy and his friend were able to get away, but he had to leave his skateboard behind. Why do you think the man who chased them was so upset? Who was he? Did little Timmy and his friend do something wrong? Well, boys and girls, let's think about it. The man who chased them was actually the caretaker for the cemetery. Little Timmy and his friend were making a lot of noise in a place that was supposed to be quiet. Many people travel a great distance in order to visit the gravesite of a loved one. It is often a time for quiet reflection and prayer for the lost suffered. We just celebrated Memorial Day, and that's a time of quiet prayer and reflection for the loss of those who served our country in the armed forces. So you remember that. Little Timmy and his friend, however, were only thinking about themselves and the fun that they were having. They weren't thinking about others. You know, I'm reminded of a couple of Bible verses that could have helped little Timmy and his friend. The first one teaches us to think before we act. Every wise person acts with good sense, but a foolish person shows how foolish he is. That's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 6. The second one that comes to mind teaches us to think of others before ourselves. And that's found in Philippians. When you do things, do not let selfishness or pride be your guide. Be humble and give more honor to others than to yourselves. Philippians 2, verse 3. Let's pray. Father, we're so grateful and thankful uh, for your word and for what it teaches us. Lord, as, as we do things, as children do things, and boys and girls think about things and have ideas to do things, let us stop and pause for a moment and think how that might affect others. And if, it's, and if it's not good for someone else, help us not to do it. Help us to be strong and to be led by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.